what's up, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's your girl, Stephanie, a.k.a. Edini, has to stop up by. And, uh, let's just uh, see what messages come through. I'm up. <laughs> Crazy hours in the morning. Had such a weird um, sleep pattern <laughs> past couple days. Giving the same thing because I, I peeked, I peeked at the card. I wasn't supposed to. I just saw the six months come out again. Yeah, I know we've had that in previous read. the fuck, yo? People are such creeps. get our clarifiers out the bottom of the deck we do have um, sexual perversion so you might have some people lusting after you and such because you find Still don't make it. Make it any less uncomfortable. Bottom of the deck of the first clarifiers, we have spying. Got some people around you that are, of course, ego led. You know what I'm talking about, you feel me? Selfish. Bottom of the deck of the third. Clarifier is healer. And because you are a healer, you're more than ready for battle. Be bold and be confident. If you want to express your sexuality, if you want to, you know, show off your body, or, I mean, it's, it's not about showing off your body, it's about what you're comfortable in. And if you feel comfortable, with form-fitting clothes on or 
whatever do your thing do your thing first card that we're clarifying is be emotionally strategic with these people who are probably lusting after you uh, in a sexual manner be present and joyful always surrender to joy no matter what the external environment may look like seem like what messages you may get in regards to you know your external environment always make sure that you continue to do the work to find joy meditate surround yourself in a golden white light ask your ancestors and your spirit guides for guidance the two parts clarifying be emotionally strategic we have i've searched all over okay so y'all know that song that that gospel song searched all over couldn't find nobody i've searched high and low still couldn't find nobody nobody greater nobody greater nobody greater than you than you you are the person that you've been searching for okay so know that you're more than ready for battle be bold and be confident okay the second card clarifying be emotionally strategic we have earth angel exactly king of pentacles type energy emperor empress type energy you are an earth angel okay but the key word is earth you're still here on this physical plane so you got to be emotionally emotionally strategic with how you move about life and deal with certain people understand what, where they are coming from okay so we have a trap here you do possibly have somebody that may be trying to trap you with a baby <laughs> you know um, trying to trap you emotionally that's why we have to be emotionally strategic here um, so again be present but you're more than ready for battle you will be able to see through the BS Okay, I was just wondering if my music was going to start back playing. Um, if you always remain in a, in a place of centering, you'll be able to hear from your higher self, your ancestors, your spirit guides, as they guide you through life. Okay? Another key, again, is to always surrender to joy. Always surrender to joy and be present in the moment. Being present allows you to feel the agape love of your spirit guides, your ancestors, your higher self, the most high. But also, it, uh, it allows you to be uh, subtle so that you can... receive the messages sorry uh the clarifiers for the trap card we had enlightenment okay you're being enlightened to this energy trap emotional trap possibly physical trap someone is maybe trying to uh, enforce onto you because you are a healer they want to trap you and your energy for their own selfish reasons and agenda and they're gonna bring they wanna they wanna trap you into a false love. They're spying on you trying to figure out what your weak points are. But again, you're more than ready for battle. You're more than ready for whatever bullshit they may try to put on you, place on you, whatever trying to mind games they may try to play on you. You're more than ready for it any and all of that bullshit okay second card clarify the trap card um with enlightenment we have pisces okay
the stone for uh, Pisces is amethyst. The color is sea green. And it also has healer on here. So this Pisces energy could represent you. It could represent the collective. We're artistic. We're charitable. We're creative. We're dedicated. We may be a little timid. Maybe a little bit of in introvert. We're very spiritual, mystical, peaceful, and serious people. Right? Um, do not get trapped into the low of operational attributes of Pisces, such as being careless and escapist, running away from your problems, or indecisive. Do not get trapped in de indecisiveness. Okay? Or uh, being impressionable with these people trying to trap you into sexual perversion or trap you when their ultimate goal is sexual perversion. You know, these are people that, that lack intimacy. The next card that we're going to clarify is Energy Vampire. They want to siphon and drain you of your healing energy you know and again this Pisces card could specifically have to do with just the energy of Pisces you don't have to be a Pisces yourself you may be a Pisces who knows you know but you need to be bold and confident in your uh, artistic abilities your charitable heart, your loving heart, and do not allow anyone again to trap you and drain you of that energy. The first part we're uh, gonna use, the first clarifier we have for energy vampire, we have peace, okay? Make sure you're doing the things to cultivate your peace. Second card, go at it alone, okay? Go at it alone. Says you will be fine. Ground your energy. Ground your mentality in, in miracles. Have a miracle mentality. Really exercise and use your imagination, especially when you're doing a right burn and release. It's, I really feel like that's something that we should do with, uh, within the next few days, a right burn and release. In regards to these people, spirit just wants to, again, keep us on our toes. There are, no matter how many times the messages come out, and it may seem the same, it's for a reason. You know, got people trying to attack you from all kind of ways, and you just got to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. But spirit also wants you to walk boldly and confidently. Because you are covered, you are protected, you have all the things you need, but you need to make sure that you don't allow yourself to get trapped into the mind games, that you stay positive, that you stay and surrender to joy, that you stay surrendering to joy and in the present moment. The next main card we have is get a massage. Okay, so go pamper yourself. And, and, you know, that's part of being emotionally strategic as well, getting massage. A lot of people, there's, there's an article that I've read before that said, um, if everybody got, got a massage, the world would be a much nicer place, a much kinder, I don't want to use nice, it would be a much kinder place. So, uh, go out, get a massage. Um, do things that um, uh, boost your immune system. Uh, what else? This massage is just seek other natural forms of healing. Massage is the number one way, so I definitely will suggest go get a massage. And then also, again, all other kind of alternative medicines. You know, focus on that. Focus on those things. The first clarifier we have for get a massage is powers evolved. Okay, I love it. So with the healer being here, you could be a massage therapist like myself. 
and spirit wants you to know that your powers are evolved okay that may be why people are you know you're very creative again I had this uh, a post that I made on Facebook saying and I've discussed this on my channel as well of how people will confuse you or a person or the, how they view a person um, that this person they they were actually supposed to come they're supposed to be a healer in their life but people confuse that healing energy for sexual energy okay you are an earth angel you have a light about you because you have done the work you have put in the work the next card clarifying get a massage is right decision um, so know that your powers are involved to make the right decision and not be in the negative uh, low vibrational aspect of Pisces which is indecisive no you are in you are an enlightened being trust your instincts trust your intuition we saw the amethyst Stone listed on the Pisces card as well. We have the amethyst right here. I was hoping it would <laughs> kind of be in the camera, but let's meditate on this beautiful amethyst energy to help us to really get in tune with our inner self, our inner peace, our intuition. If you have an amethyst stone, let it sit on your head, you know, put it onto your third eye. Allow yourself to really breathe in the essence of the amethyst stone. We'll leave her right there. Last card that we're clarifying is stubborn. Okay? You got to understand when you're fighting against demons and devils, they are going to be stubborn. They're going to be relentless in their ability to try to trap you, to try to take your enlightenment, to make you, to discourage you, to pull you down, to make you doubt in yourself. But you are more than ready for battle. Remain bold and confident as you walk through life at this time. The first clarifier we have for stubborn is love. Ooh, love of your life. Okay, I like it. That's a card I, I just created. And then we have liberation here as well. Clarifying love of your life. All right. What planet rules? Neptune? I think Neptune rules Pisces. Uh, nutmeg. I actually have some whole nutmegs here. Here's one. And they tell you to, you know, place this on your person. Maybe in your purse. It helps to bring abundance. But what this is giving me is you may have someone that possibly is supposed to be the love of your life or was once uh, the love of your life that is being stubborn. You know, this, this is a person who wants you to continue to chase after them. But remember, go at it alone. You can go at it alone. You will be fine. You know. Do not continue to allow these people to, again, drain your energy. To be energy vampires. To try to, you know, swap destinies with you. Your powers are evolved. It may have been really tough for you to walk away from these people in the past. But you are being liberated from these stubborn people. And being, you are now, you are in the energy again of being okay with being 
to yourself until the time is right, till the time is conducive, right? So be at peace right now. I hope y'all didn't see my shorts. I'm trying to put on a nice shirt and some basic ass bottoms because I'm thinking you can't see them. But anyway. I feel like the love, and this could also be the love of your life maybe coming in. They're just, the energy is just stubborn right now. It's not time right now. Perhaps you're being stubborn in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Perhaps there is still some energy, some things you need to learn. Perhaps there are more lessons that need to be uh, learned at this time before the love of your life can come in to free you, to bring you that freedom. I know we got we got the Knight of Wands here. Oh no, family. I think we're gonna pull back on that love of your life being the actual love of your life. I feel like this person is gonna be someone pretending to be the love of your life. It's gonna be a false love, you know what I'm saying? And it's not going, the thing is, it's not gonna flow. This Knight of Wands energy, it, it get Knight of Wands gives like flattery. And then we just got the Page of Pentacles too. You know, they're not going to offer you anything that is of substance at this time. They're still very young, still very immature. There's going to be very immature offers uh, handed to you, you know. So there's more study that you need to do um, in regards perhaps to this person. We just got the Nine of Swords out. Okay. So, no, I don't, I don't feel like this person... Um, or this energy right here is actually the love of your life. You're being liberated from this person, liberated from this energy. Go at it alone, find your peace, get massage, continue to develop your, your spiritual gifts, um, explore your spiritual gifts as well with powers evolved. You are more than ready for battle, okay? You got people spying on you, but it's all good. Let them watch you get to the bag. Focus on getting to the bag, going at it alone. You know, you are an enlightened, um, artistic, charitable, loving, creative, dedicated person. Okay? You got people around you that sees, that see your light and want to trap it for their own, to trap it for their own uh, selfish reasons. Okay. What's the God on the bottom of the deck? Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles represents the energy of being, you know, alone. I wouldn't say alone, single and thriving. This is a time to be single and thriving. And again, being objective to love at this time. You know, when it comes to relationships. Don't expect too much from people in this time of transition and transformation and evolution of ascension for you. Love, love is not anything that you need to be focused on right now because there's a lot of moving parts, right? Of course, this is coming from a single perspective. Take it however you're take it how you're led to take it in regards to if you're in a relationship. 
perhaps this, this channel isn't for you, but just kind of keep it on a surface level. Just take the deeper messages um, of the read. Because I can't really speak from a relationship standpoint because I hadn't been in a serious relationship in a very long time and I'm not going to act like I have the answers in, in that case or know how to read the cards in regards to you know long term relationships I will ask for that uh, in insight but right now I'm not even going to attempt it right now this again could have to do with family members, could have to do with friends, co-workers, business partners, or whatever. I don't know. <sighs> Take it how it resonates. But no matter what, you're more than ready for battle. Your powers have evolved, family. And it's such a beautiful thing. You are receiving enlightenment. You are enlightened. And you're being enlightened to the traps that people are trying to make you fall into. So, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Okay, handle your business. I just saw Capricorn. Uh, 174 cats per. We need to play those frequencies as well. So we got December. Uh, I just saw the four weeks card underneath the healer uh, card. So maybe there's going to be a nice culmination of your healing within the next four weeks and it's going to really take on its fullness in December perhaps okay so with the spine card we have put yourself out there and again that's possibly why you're getting so many you're getting more eyes on you so, of course, there's going to be some people that may have a sexual perversion. You may be afraid of putting yourself out there because more people will be, you know, looking in your direction. But remember, you're more than ready for battle. You've done the work. It's time for you to walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Okay? You got this. Whatever information you're needed, you need. It will be provided for you. Whatever it takes for your soul to thrive, it will be given to you. But again, you need to make sure you stay emotionally strategic. Do not allow people to get you out of your, pull you out of your con, uh, character. Don't allow anyone to pull you out of your boldness and your confidence and your knowledge that you are an earth angel, that you are the person that you've been searching for. Know that. Okay, know that. Do not allow anyone to try to make you think that you need them. You can go edit the fuck alone. Okay, you can go edit the fuck alone. You will be fine. Just continue to ground your energy, stay present, and surrender to joy. Keep surrendering to joy. I just saw mind over heart and flesh card when it comes to the sexual perversion and the people around you, all right? So again, you may feel, you may be feeling a little hot in your pants, but you may need to make mind over heart decisions, mind over flesh decisions as well. Because again, there may be a lot of people approaching you at this time of transition, at this time where your powers are evolved and you are, and you just have this glow about you, you know. So, let's get a, 
Yeah, let's give let's give us a, a spirit message card. I'm gonna just get one. Oh, y'all some bad some HBICs out in here handling your business. Big boss, big boss type energy. Okay. So it came out in reverse. Um, it says you are noticing changes within yourself. And, and other people are noticing changes within yourself too. With powers evolved here. It's because you're leaving the old version of yourself behind. Exactly. That's the reason why we have the trap card here. These people outside of you are trying to trap you into your old self so that they, because your old self wasn't, did allow energy vampires, okay? But you are noticing the changes within because you are leaving your old self, finding peace and knowing, and in you, noticing the changes and leave, noticing you leaving your old self behind. You know that you can go at it alone because the journey within, right? Since you are noticing changes within, the journey within is something that you have to do alone. No one can do this for you. Oh, I like it. It says you are elevating, shedding, and shedding unnecessary layers. And that come, that explains, you know, the other people around you with the sexual perversion, people that are spying on you, trying to trap you, trying to be an energy vampire. You are elevating. Powers evolved, remember? Right decision. You made the right decision in leaving these people. You made the right decision in leaving you, the old version of you behind. Because what? You searched all over and you found no one, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Okay? You are the person that you've been looking for. So you are shedding any old um, unnecessary layers that other people, society, family, whatever, have put onto you to make you feel less than. No, you are taking back. You are taking control with authority. Okay, it says old cycles are ending. That's why they, these motherfuckers are scrambling. Okay, but you are more than ready for battle. You are more than ready for battle. And you will win the war okay the old cycles are ending and again this came out in reverse so you got other people around you that are feeling this you got the energy vampires the narcissists around you that are feeling the old cycles ending okay that's why we have this stubborn card here they're being stubborn because they want to be the love of your life you know but you are enlightened to the fact that they are not the stubborn energy has no, nowhere, no business being in the same area of love of your life. You are liberating yourself, okay? Shedding old cycles, you know? And new beginnings are on the horizon. You deserve this new chapter. You deserve it. There's going to be people fighting you tooth and nail to keep you bound, trapped unto them. But it's not gonna work. 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 <laughs> and that's on period. Alright, family, I hope they helped in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I love you all. And until next time. Peace.